Hi everyone and welcome to this next instalment of our Archives Behind the Scenes videos from New South Wales State Archives. We're in cell 10, uh, the famous green cell, not only because it has a green floor and green shelves but even green labels on all of the boxes that are in here as well. One of the highlights of the State Archives collection that are held in this cell are around 7,000 boxes of deceased estate files from the Stamp Duties Office. These are files that were created when death duty was payable in New South Wales. The series of files dates from 1880 through to the late 1950s, and they are a financial record of someone's estate when they died. So in order to establish how much death duty was payable on an estate, that estate had to be valued in some way. And in order to provide that value, you had to list out and enumerate all of someone's real estate, their personal belongings, and their other personal estate. And that's exactly what these deceased estate files are. They're a financial record, but a real treasure trove of information. Now you can access indexes to the deceased estate files on our website, and also on the websites of our partners, Ancestry and Find My Past. So between those three websites, and our website address is www.records .nsw.gov.au, you should be able to find an entry for anyone that you might be interested in in the deceased estate files. Anyway, what sort of information do they show? Come a little bit closer and I'll show you an example of one of the files. So this is the file for John Henry Williams, who dies in Sydney in Randwick in 1945. His file typically comprises an overall value of his estate and then the paperwork to do with the administration of his estate and that whole process of enumerating the estate. So page upon page of details of this person's estate. What's really interesting about this example, and it's by no means an unusual example, is the wonderful listing of all of the personal estate that was contained when John Henry Williams died in 1945. So you'll see listings here of furniture, of cushions, of curtains, of glassware, and a value for each item. Because that's exactly what these files are, remember, is a financial record of someone's estate. So they're a wonderful source of information because they tell you how someone was living at the time of their death and what objects, what estate, what real estate, what personal estate they left when they died. Bye for now.